Hey guys and welcome back to another YouTube video with me, Wonky Conky, based on Escape from Tarkov. Today I'm going to be talking about my thoughts on patch 11.5 and what it means for me as a streamer. Please also leave your thoughts on the patch in the comments below. What do you think is good or bad about 11.5? I can't wait to find some more answers from other people around the web and see what it means to them on this update. Now. The first thing I want to talk about that makes change for me in 11.5 is stuttering. The game has been a roller coaster in the last couple of patches due to this, and I'm glad that they fixed it for the most part. It feels nice to have the, uh, you know, the not so constant clunkiness of stutters. Um, although we still suffer from it a little bit, it isn't as bad as it used to be, especially when ADSing or coming into PvP moments. I think that's where it's probably best now. Please note though that this isn't a fix for everybody and in some instances people are still seeing these issues consistently but it's definitely worth checking in to see if it works any better for you as an individual. From a streamer's point of view this makes my life so much easier to broadcast it live as it puts a lot less strain on my computer as a whole and also allows for a nicer viewer experience. The next game changer for me is scav on scav friendly fire. I've been wanting this change for a while now, um, I'm glad to see its implementation to the Tarkov world. It used to be that you'd fire on a scav and all scavs became hostile towards you, and um, now this is no longer the case. Um, killing a player scav that fires upon you is actually deemed okay by the AI scavs, so it's nice to see that you can play as you wish without the fear of being shot by the AI in the game just because you had to kill a greedy scav player. Um, moving on to something a little more important to me and that's audio. I like the fact now that the rain is quieter and doesn't blow my eardrums through my headset and onto the wall, so that's a nice little change too. The rain in the game has for a long time been despicable at best, especially considering you can't hear most other ambient sounds or player made sounds due to the 3 million decibel rainfall. I really like what Battlestate are doing here. I believe that with a little bit of hard work and listening to the community, the game might actually come a long way in its development. The overall sound has been altered and is now greater than ever. Um, in multi-story buildings you'll now only hear um, one level above you unless the player or scav is shouting. Um, it's also the same with contacts making this a nice little addition if you go in stealth mode. Uh, the game now involves some new types of PvP situations and elements of surprise because of this. On top of the sounds, um, BSG also reduced the, um, the hearing distance of looting and unlocking doors which is a nice little optimization, considering you could hear someone looting a duffel bag in the resort halfway to the goddamn hydro plant. The game is becoming a lot more balanced in this way, so um, it's nice to see a little bit of progress. Another great thing to look at is the behaviour of the scavengers across the board, who've now been modified when taking damage or entering combat. AI will no longer stand and laugh it off when it gets shot at, and will instead try to find cover to avoid shots as they're firing back at you. This makes the game a little more beautiful to handle, as things are just a lot less of a pain to deal with. Visually, the post-processing on the visors has been confirmed fixed, and things are starting to look a lot less dirty when it comes to wearing the glass over the face. We can now see fairly well out of the helmet visors instead of looking through a heap of trash, which I believe is great as it may encourage more people to enter a raid wearing gear. Coming slightly off topic off 11.5 onto a more controversial subject, I believe that the Mosin should be debuffed, or at least the ammo for it. I know that in the reality of the Mosin would kill you or severely injure you, but this is a game, and games need some balance added into them or it becomes a nightmare to play, but we'll rant about that in another video. Back to the topic of 11.5, my favourite fix of all is a better understanding of quests. Those things were an absolute hell to figure out in the first stages, so it's nice to see them worded better and easier to understand. This actually adds some fun to questing, because we can see exactly what we need to do, and when it needs to be done, and even how it needs to be done in some cases. It's getting pretty late here, so it's you know it's probably about all we have time for today, but um, overall I think 11.5 is a great patch, I like what Nikita and Battlestate have done. And you know what, I'm excited to see some more content in 11.7, but for now I'll just carry on bashing 11.5, maybe set myself a few challenges along the way. You can find the patch notes on the Tarkov forums and the Reddit if you're interested in reading the full story, and the link will be in the description of the video for those patch notes. This is Wonky, I'll catch you live on Twitch 7 days a week at twitch.tv slash wonkyconky, which will also be linked in the video description. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications if you want to see more content from this channel.